diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and we are presented by the Hula Bowl. Today I have with me uh, Jason Luan. He's a defensive lineman out of Illinois State. Uh, how are you doing today, buddy? Doing great. Doing great. How are you? Doing well, man. Um, uh, kicking things off this season with uh, these Zoom interviews. I'm uh, looking forward to our time together. So, um, again, defensive lineman, uh, pretty big guy. Um, I know that uh, really excited about what's going to happen this season, man, but um, kind of interested in your story. So um, uh, lead us in there a little bit. Tell us where you're from and uh, how you uh, ultimately got there to uh, Illinois State. Yeah, so I'm from Yorkville, Illinois. It's about an hour and a half uh, north of Bloomington, so pretty close to home. Uh, played football since I was in preschool, started with flag football and played it every single year until uh, obviously now. Um, interestingly enough, I was <laughs> a little 200 pound receiver in high school all the way up until uh, senior year. So it's been, it's been a fun journey, you know, to come to Illinois State, put on about uh, 105 pounds and, and move all the way inside to an interior D-line. So it's been quite the trip. 105 pounds doesn't happen overnight, man. How did yeah. that happen? Uh, well, I've been here for, you know, five years now. COVID gave me an extra season and uh, I always had the frame for it and uh, just had to, you know, grow up a little bit, a lot of eating plans, a lot of protein, creatine. So it's been a grind for sure. Interesting, interesting. And um, uh, give people uh, some insight. I mean, again, I'm only seeing like this much of Jason Lewan. How big is Jason Lewan? Uh, I am 6'6", 305 pounds currently. All right, so six six three hundred five pounds. I mean, you're definitely getting a very um, formidable size there for a guy who plays on the defensive line. So, um, uh, tell me maybe where you have lined up there on the defensive line and what sort of uh, defense you guys are running over there. Yeah, so predominantly we are in a three down defense, and I play defensive tackle, so I'm in the boundary, and I'm usually uh, right inside, uh, shaded on the tackle. So. That's usually where I'm most comfortable. We also switch into our, our four down a little bit. So I'm uh, going to a three tech and a two eye, but mostly I'm in that uh, inside shade of the tackle. Gotcha. Have you ever played like that, uh, you know, like zero tech, maybe around like that nose? Like, have you, have you had any experience that, you know, doing that there? We have a couple of like, you know, unique little wrinkles where I'll, I'll be close to that shade. But uh, uh, usually I stay, stay in that two eye to four eye range is my, is my range. Okay. 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 You still have some pretty decent size. So, I mean, I feel like if, if a team maybe wants to shift you around a little bit, you know, you certainly have that flexibility. So um, what do you feel you bring the, to the, you know, the most uh, to the next level, you know, as a, as a prospect, what do you feel separates you as an athlete? I think, uh, you know, my size and my speed is, is something that can translate well to the next level. And I also think uh, one thing is, is my football IQ. I've been playing division one football now for five, six years, been in the starting role for about, you know, four of those years. And I've, I've played a lot of football and I've learned a lot. And I think, I'm, I think the transition will be, will be good for me. I think it'll be something I, I'm a quick learner. I could absorb. So that's something I'm excited for. Gotcha. And as you kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe look into the NFL, maybe try and uh, take some tidbits from certain players to add to your game. Who are the players that you're watching? Who are, who are you like uh, either a big fan of or somebody you want to model your game after? I got to say, I'm a big fan of, uh, of TJ Watt and, and Cam Hayward on the Steelers. I think, I think they're a great one, two punch. And I think they, the tenacity and the, the determination to get after the quarterback and the ball carrier is just something I try to emulate. Interesting. So does that make you a Steelers fan? <laughs> make it that obvious. Yeah, I am. I am a Steelers fan. I do watch a lot of, out of Pittsburgh Steelers football. Hey man, it, it, it you know what whatever. I mean, I I, I get you. So um, everybody's got to be a fan of of, of teams. Certainly, uh, uh, I have been a fan of a team. So we'll uh, you know kind of kind of grows on you a little bit. You know, depending on you know what happens in your life and maybe where you end up. You know, uh, that sort of thing. So um, hey, uh, Jason, just kind of wondering. You know, um, I have in my notes here. Um, 
just a, a little bit about your uh, history as an athlete, uh, and that is that you've played some other sports. So um, uh, talk to me a little bit about that. I, I, hear, I have in my notes that you were a basketball guy back in high school. Yeah, yeah. So uh, high school, the first couple of years, I played baseball and basketball, and then uh, I stuck to basketball. And, uh, you know, I, I pretty much had the same role that I do now uh, on the D-line. I liked blocking shots. I liked playing defense more than I liked scoring. So it was something that was uh, pretty fun for me and also helped me, you know, stay fast, stay athletic during the offseason. Interesting. When was the last time you actually scored? Like, uh, you know, scored a point in a game? <laughs> in an actual game? Yeah. Oh, man, it's been probably five or six years now since, uh, since I played an actual basketball game and scored a point. Well, I'm saying more so like, uh, you know, football related too, because you said you're a wide receiver, right? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the last time last time I had the opportunity to score was definitely a senior year senior of high school catching a touchdown. I do miss that a little bit. Cool. So hopefully one of these days you'll have that one moment where, you know, I don't know, maybe scooping up a fumble. Uh, occasionally yeah. you'll get a defensive lineman that might end up, uh, you know, with, a, um, with an interception. Um, you got you kind of have to get a terrible quarterback, you know, against you. But hey, you know, uh, it could certainly happen. Um, yeah, that's every big man's dream. Of course. So um, let's talk about your team, buddy. Talk to me about. Um, let's just kind of look look back at like last season. Um, tell me about uh, you know that season as a whole uh, for you guys and some of your, some of your success. Yeah, though I mean that was a season for me. You know, I was coming off that injury, so I was really just in that in that mentor leadership role. We had a, a ton of young guys, and I think one thing that was really positive was was the way you know we improved throughout the season as a team because we had a lot of young guys playing football, you know, at the D one level for the very first time, which is you know can be intimidating. And I think throughout the year we progressed as a team. We got closer, and uh, now we're hitting that you know we're hitting that high in this off season where we're we're really cohesive. Cool. So um, you had briefly mentioned there, of course, uh, undergoing a, a little bit of uh, hardship and such, you know, with the injuries. So um, I know sometimes those sorts of things um, really describe a person in their grit and character. So um, uh, kind of walk us through that, if you don't mind, you know, um, you know, that whole season of you uh, getting over that. Yeah. So uh, in the spring season, I, I had a Liz Frank injury, which is uh, in the foot. So I had a couple surgeries. And it put me out for, you know, a little over half a year rehabbing and recovering and stuff. And uh, that was probably, you know, one of my one of my biggest adversities I've ever faced was just, you know, working through that mentally and getting back to, to full strength. And now, you know, thankfully, I'm, I'm able to get back to 100 percent. Now I'm stronger and faster than I was before my injury. So uh, it's been quite the journey. And it really uh, showed a lot about what I was made of, you know, just rooting through that the entire time. Awesome. So uh, now we got a, a healthy Jason Lawan out there, you know, uh, re really taking taking his role there on the defensive line. Uh, so what are the expectations this year, man? What, what are we what are our goals? Oh, man. Uh, personally, team wise, uh, for me personally, it's just uh, finally getting into that into that every down role. You know, I'm a guy that I can handle 40, 45 snaps a game, rushing the passer, uh, stopping the run. And I think I'm pretty, pretty well-rounded in that aspect with my, with my size and speed. So I'm really uh, ready to show that off. And as far as team-wise, man, it's just, it's just get wins, play as a team, play good football. Nice. So um, looking forward to it for sure. But I um, want to kind of backtrack a little bit and just kind of see like your uh, career as a whole, man. I mean, you had a, a lot of great games perhaps. So um, what has been that highlight so far? I mean, obviously we still got another season to go. But um, looking back at the past few years, um, what's been that one moment, maybe, maybe that one play um, that sticks out? Uh, personally, uh, as an individual player, I'd say my Southern Illinois game sticks out to me. You know, I had a couple sacks, you know, seven or eight tackles, a, fump, a couple forced fumbles, I think. So it was a really solid game. And it was really the first time where I, I felt like I dominated uh, in a Division One football game. And that was as a sophomore in 2019. And then as a team, you know, that, that 2019 quarterfinal against the, the Bison, uh, both our teams had a lot of talent, you know, they had Trey Lance, we had James Robinson. It was, it was a very back and forth game and probably one of the most uh, memorable games of my career. Nice. Um, you're talking a little bit about uh, James Robinson there. 
uh, probably one of the one guys that um, I think a lot of people know, uh, you know, coming out of your guys' program. Uh, what are some of the names that are still there, man? I mean, who are some guys that we really need to know this upcoming season? Man, I would say uh, for sure the two Montana transfers we got, Braden and uh, Bryson Deming. They, uh, Tanner Tala, the tight end, Zeke Vandenberg, outside linebacker, Drew Bones, center, uh, Zach Anikstead, quarterback. Those are all guys that uh, I think have the talent, you know, to make it to the next level. And I think that uh, they'll turn some heads this year for sure. Nice. Uh, no, several of those guys, actually. A lot of them are on my, on my list. So uh, hopefully one of these days I'll be able to sit down with, with a few of them. So, uh, so uh, I want to be able to uh, – Step, a, step aside from football a little bit. I'm kind of interested in knowing uh, who this guy is out, outside of the game of football uh, in, in Jason Lewan. So um, tell me something about yourself that's maybe fun, interesting, or unique. Um, anything that you'd like to share with people about yourself? Oh, man. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a really just a, a simple guy. I'm a homebody. You know, um, don't really go out. I, I like to read, I like to play video games with friends. Uh, I just like to, you know, sit and chill in my in my off time when I'm not playing football. I uh, I'm also a, I like to consider myself a student of the game, so I, I honestly like to watch film and stuff, film of NFL players, you know, past seasons. It's really interesting for me to, you know, always be expanding my knowledge base. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, trying trying to learn more about you outside of a football player, though. So let me see if I could dig a little bit. Um, you mentioned there a little bit about uh, trying, you know like you, you like to read a little bit so um either what are you reading now or what what's something that um you've really enjoyed maybe a favorite book or something oh man um i would say you know i'm big uh you know science fiction fantasy guy i love like okay. the harry potter books i would say are my favorite series just because you kind of get uh lost in the series get lost in your little, little own world so i like to sit down and really really grind those out i would say okay cool um uh I don't know if that would also answer this one too, but would you say that was that's one of your favorite movie series? Like, do you have a favorite movie? Oh man, favorite movie. Um, I would honestly say uh, Interstellar is my favorite movie. If I had to, if I had to pick one, I don't know if you've ever seen that little science fiction one, but uh, it was pretty interesting the first time I watched it. And I I could watch it every single day and I could order it. So. Gotcha. A little interesting story there, sci-fi, you know, guy. So uh, nice being able to uh, at least pick pick your brain a little bit, you know, outside of the game. So um, as we wind down our video, um, I want to give you a one opportunity uh, to uh, really address a lot of scouts that may want to know more about you. Um, and so I want you to uh, look into that camera and tell them why they need to take a chance on you, why they need to sign you, draft you, and bring you into their program. Again, we're, we're looking at a guy who has pro potential. So um, give them your pitch. Yeah, I mean, I would say right off the bat, obviously the size and the speed I think I bring to the game is something that, that translates very well to the next level. And then as far as the intangibles go, I, I find myself being in that leadership, that mentor position a lot. And I think that, uh, I love really being a student of the game and I really love absorbing information. I think uh, that's something I can bring to the next level. I think uh, I could keep up with the pace. And uh, I think my work ethic is really what, what drives all that. I just, I have that tenacity and I have that, that drive to always just be better that next rep the next day. So that's what I bring to the table. Awesome. Well, uh, again, appreciate your time. I mean, obviously we're looking at uh, this very formidable size uh, of 6'6", six, six, 300 pounds, and be quite honest with you, Jason, I don't know if we've actually seen the best of you yet, because I'm, I'm just really interested to see what's going to happen this upcoming season, because I know you have the ability to really, um, uh, you know, just be a game changer, you know, out there and be dominant on the defensive line, so uh, really looking forward to this upcoming season, and uh, wish you best of luck, all right? Yes, sir, I appreciate it. No problem. Again, I have with me uh, Jason Lewan, uh, defensive lineman out of uh, Illinois State, and this was sponsored by the Hula Bowl. Uh, thanks for watching.